What is up guys, Chris here, Bear Market Mining. Welcome back to the channel. So you can see we're in the mining room today. So we're gonna give you a little bit of an update of what's going on. We haven't spent a bit of time in here with you guys in a while. So I wanna run with you what we're doing, what's online, what's offline. Uh, of course, we've got those Octa Space rigs going, so we'll talk about them as well. Maybe show you a bit of the profitability, but uh, but let's start with talking about these ASICs in here, just on this row behind me. So we'll get you flipped around and, uh, and we'll start talking. This video is brought to you by Crypto Miner Bros, a trusted global supplier of crypto mining hardware. They offer a wide selection of ASIC miners for all major coins and budgets. With free worldwide shipping, 24-7 customer support, and a 180-day warranty included with every purchase. Use code BEARMINER at checkout to get $70 off your order. Visit CryptoMinerBros.com and mine smarter with gear you can count on. All right, so we can see it's a bit of a mess in here at the moment. We've got, uh, we've got stuff everywhere, as you can see. Oh. We've got uh, my kid's uh, bike in here. For those of you who have toddlers who uh, don't know how to play properly with toys and lose their mind when they do, you know what I'm saying. This is the cause of a lot of screaming. So uh, it is, it's been hidden for now, but more importantly, we still got this Flu Miner L1 that's up and running, just chunking away. And uh, of course, we've got that Volk Miner D1 Mini. Now you'll notice if you've been following for the while, we did have two DG Home Ones from Alphapex in here. Now they are now gone, they've been sold, have moved on to a better place, and uh, we're freeing up those funds to buy other stuff. But let's talk about this bad boy right here. This is the, uh, the Ice River AL2. Now profitability, it's been fantastic. Definitely my most profitable home miner but it's been an absolute pain in the ass uh, to say the least so firstly it's a full-sized asic not what was advertised the image of it looked just like that so uh yeah full-sized asic got these delta fans under here as you can see and uh, they're offline at the moment the whole thing's offline i ordered this ac infinity shroud uh, shroud eight inch fan sorry with these silences which by the way are massive so these came really quickly. Um, these fan shrouds have been an absolute nightmare. Now, I'm not gonna say who I bought these off because that's not really my style, I'm not that kind of guy, but a pain in the ass. I paid for express shipping on these. It took the supplier two and a half weeks to even post them. So it took about three and a half weeks to get here. And you can't see it, but underneath here, where the fins are, if you've got used ASICs and shrouds before, where the fins come off, it arrived with two of those fins snapped off and only one of them in the box. So what does that tell us? It tells us that they've been snapped and thrown in the box broken late. So really pissed off with the company that I bought these from. But anyway, we won't name them. Then the problems continue. We also ordered some spoofers for the AE2s um, from somewhere else, plugged them in. They didn't work, the spoofers didn't work. Um, so, you know, we tried to plug these ones back in and then, uh, and then basically hot unplug them as they go. They turned on, ramp up to 100%, and before we could even do anything, this uh, is now giving a fan error. It doesn't recognize that there's any fans attached, so that thing is just offline, <laughs> right? So for three weeks, I've been listening to these fans screaming. The shrouds arrive broken, and then... Um, yeah, the whole thing's just been an absolute, absolute nightmare. And then the fan error continues. So that's offline at the moment. I have ordered another control board. I was doing some reading. It says that uh, if you've got the wrong spoofers that go in here, it can mess with like tax signals and things like that. All sorts of stuff that I don't really know too much about. So we're going to try and send this. Uh, we're going to try and get a new control board in first. See if we can just unplug all this, stick it back in and it works. But yeah, this, is, uh, this whole thing's been an absolute pain in the ass. Anyway, we're not worried about that. It is what it is. We're just uh, letting that happen. So let's move up a little bit higher. We've got this lonely uh, B75M. This is a cube. It's on Cubic at the moment. It's on our Cubic just chunking away. But we are probably going to take that motherboard and stick one of the, uh, one of the many, many offline graphics cards we've got sitting around everywhere here. 
got a box full of them over here. We've sold about 30 or 40 of them, but we do have some 40, 60 TIs on the road, 16 gigabytes of VRAM. So we're gonna chuck some of them on there. Pretty excited about our cubi uh, cubic, ah, uh, Octospace at the moment. So we're gonna try and get a few more of those rigs going online here. We've got uh, a multitude of CPU mining rigs all offline at the moment. 5900Xs, 5950Xs. We've got our little, <coughs> excuse me, solo Bitcoin miners down here. Um, really, really cool. I am actually getting a liquid cooled in Nerdax, so that'll be pretty cool. We'll do a little review on that one, see, uh, see how the temps go on all that. Moving along up here, we've got our 3090. Uh, this is a 5950X, 64 gigabytes of RAM and the 3090 on it. Killing it on Octospace. Really glad I've got into this. I think it's making about eight bucks a day US or something. And it's pulling about 200 watts. Uh, people are mining uh, cubic on it. They're doing uh, like Gensen images. Not sure what that is, but it's pretty much pulling no power. We've got these little, uh, where are they actually? Let me see if I can, where are they? We've got these little smart meters down here that they're all plugged into. Oh yeah, there's one right over here that read the wattage. So it's using like two kilowatts a day. Um, so pretty much nothing. If we move on out back into the office, which is also an absolute mess. We've got this 5090 still crushing it on here in the test bench. Now I do want to move it back into the mining room eventually, um, but I need to do something with this intake. I need to figure out what's happening with this enormous ASIC miner. Once I put the silencers on, it'll be sort of back here and then out at the front. So yeah, this AE2, super profitable, pain in the ass, real pain in the ass. But yeah, more parts down here. So we've just sort of in a bit of a holding phase at the moment, you know, more graphics cards everywhere. The lighting's probably not great in here, but you get the gist, more graphics cards. We've sold about 30 or 40 at this point. And we're basically just trying to buy high VRAM GPUs, um, 4060 TIs, 5090s, but they're just super expensive at the moment. More parts everywhere. So yeah, real, real holding phase at the moment. This is the quietest my mining room has been in probably four years, so. But funnily enough, it's still making really good profits, you know, like this thing when it's online, great. Those two as well, Octospace rigs. So why don't we actually just jump on over to the computer real quick and, uh, and let me show you. It's not called, I guess, proof of concept, but a bit of a, a bit of a proof of, you know, profit on these things. I might flash up some of the wattages and uh, some of the actual kilowatt draws for this 5090 rig and maybe the 3090 rig itself as well. And see how they're going because they're making uh, they're making some good money. So let's jump on over to the PC and, uh, and check that out real quick. All right. So jumping on into the cube, let me move this microphone. There we go. Uh, we're here in our nodes. You can see we did set up a, uh, a 4070 rig. We did a budget build video and we put a 5900X with the 3060. I wanted to try the 4070, but the way that my mining farm is laid out, I've got my main router and then I've got network switches. So I didn't know this when setting it up, but when you move one rig um, from, you know, say directly plugged into your router, like my 5090 rig is right over there, and then you put it on a network switch, it changes the local IP. I think it's the local IP, so you have to uh, do a bunch of messing around to get it on that. I'm going on holidays uh, this afternoon, so we're gonna leave that one offline now, but if you don't care about that, the 3090 and the 5090. So we can see our income per 24 hours is, uh, is $8.36 on the 3090 and $6.66 on the 5090. I think the 3090, where are we here? This is our 5090 right here. So let's look at our 3090 right now and have a look at what sort of jobs it's been on. So this is currently on a, uh, a rental for the last two days, which is really, really nice. Uh, it's on Octospace Gensen. Um, it's not using a ton of disk space. It's not using much download and, uh, and upload over the last two days, which is great also. 
and it's using barely any electricity. So this is my, uh, these are the trackers I was talking about. These are those little, uh, little monitors that show you what your current power is. Now I've just taken screenshots of both of these so we can see right now using 97 watts. The runtime is just over eight hours. It's 20 past eight in the morning. The way this app works, it's midnight to midnight based on your local time to give you that 24 hour rate. Um, so if we assumed that it will use three kilowatt hours, you know, over the course of the whole day, uh, my electricity rate is 12 cents USD. So it's using, you know, 36 cents worth of electricity a day and making eight bucks. So, uh, so definitely doing really, really well there at the moment on that rental. The 5090 just under, uh, right on $8. This is actually just ticked up now, which is great. Uh, the 5090. Now I should mention that my uh, Tapo monitoring app, the 24 hour window, it doesn't exactly line up with the 24 hour window that you're seeing on your screen right now. But these rigs have been online for more than a day or two. So, you know, it's showing you exactly what you're using throughout a 24 hour period regardless. So eight bucks on the 5090. Now that uh, has been on, I think a day, maybe not quite as long. Yeah, we've got this session here. So just on 24 hours, the competition for the 5090s and 3090s has definitely gone up since I've uh, recorded that video. And as great as uh, the rentals have been, one thing I don't like about uh, the way the rental system works people can basically drop their prices as cheap as possible. So I've noticed in real time monitoring, if I've got my 5090 at 50 cents, you know, say there's 25 of them available, everyone's at 50 cents, you can see them slowly start to drop their price and price and price. So that's not necessarily a problem, I would say, but you know, if someone's got free electricity, for instance, they could put their 5090s up for 10 cents an hour and, uh, you know, and then it would be pretty hard to compete. But of course, there's other caveats to that, like your uptime, your system specs, your upload download. So that probably balances it out quite a bit now that I think about it, actually. So, you know, over these two rigs, what's that about 17 bucks a day or a 24 hour period when rented and the 5090 where is that one right now? So using 173 watts, we should actually check. Uh, I'll show you. I think that's on cubic at the moment. Someone's renting my the 5090 rig with a 7950X and mining cubic on it. So that's fantastic. As I said previously, please do. Please mine away. And I think they're just using the, uh, I think they're just using the CPU because we're only pulling 170 watts. And that's what my 7950X rig ran mining cubic, cubic as well. So, you know, 1.4 kilowatt hours for an eight hour period. What's that? 2.8, 3.4.2, sorry, you know, so 4.2 kilowatt hours, so like 40 or 50 cents, you know, to make eight bucks a day. So these things are going absolutely unreal. We're going to keep them going. We've actually got our Hive OS. Let me make sure that screen's in the right spot for you. Yeah, so you can see. 5090 is not even being used and the 3090 is pretty much pulling no power either. So we combined at 60 watts for both of those rigs that they're pulling and making 17 bucks a day. So super, super happy. I'm going to be away on holidays for the next four or five days. My wife and my kids, we're taking a bit of time off. So there won't be any videos for probably four or five days after this one, but we will be building more rigs because I've got a bunch of 4060 TIs coming in that we're going to put 4070s on and just see to see what we can do because let me actually make sure if we go back to the market page here as you can tell we're sort of doing this video on the fly here trying to rip one out there's no 4060 ti's listed and they've got 16 gigabytes of vram so i think that's a bit of a gap in the market on octa that i could sort of slot a couple of rigs in and make some good money 4070s like we said here's a bit of a uh, bit of an example you know you got one person at 12 cents and we got 17 cents and 21 cents um, you know, and this person's actually got pretty good specs. The only issue, oh, that's actually a 4070 Super. Yep, 4070 Ti. So, you know, the, I, I guess the, uh, it's not even called scalping. I guess the ability for people to drop their prices really, really low if they wanted to um, is probably the only thing that I don't like about the rental. Everything else is fantastic. But like I said, you know, this 100%, you know, the machine uptime and the stability is what wins jobs. Like I've had my 5090 rig rented at 50 cents when other people have got them listed for 30. 
um, because some of those people don't have a 100% score, for example. So, so far, so good. Lots more Octus based content to come. We're going to keep these things just rolling out. We're going to get more rigs online. I'm learning a lot about it as well. So, been a great great process that asic in there has really done my head in the whole thing's been an absolute scenario but i'm not worrying about that now octospace we're growing when we can get that one sorted we will and uh and that's going to wrap it up there guys just a very quick update for you all appreciate all your support on the last few videos and all of the videos and subscribers you guys have been killing it we're growing nearly hitting 15k so uh hit that subscribe button for me if you are uh, if you want more crypto mining content and i'll catch you in the next one peace